Hey, what is going on guys? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another Christmas PS5 tutorial because we have a big Christmas gift that was dropped by Lightning Mods just today and that is of course the ability to run our PS5 game backups or PS5 game dumps is now available thanks to the release of the new ETA Hen version 1.2b and of course the Items Flow homebrew app with PS5 support uh, which has now been released. So in this video, the idea is just to give you guys a full guide on how to get your game backups up and running on the PS5 if you have a jailbreakable PS5. It does still require firmware 4.03, 4.50 and 4.51 because it does take advantage of some of the fake package enabler features. So it may get ported to work on other versions without requiring the fake package enabler in future. But right now it does require that. So you need to be on 4.03, 4.50 or 4.51 in order to do this. So if we switch over to the computer, we have a compatibility list that was released. And this shows all of the titles that have been tested so far that are completely playable and the ones that have some issues. So you can see we've got Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition, Vice City, San Andreas. We've got a bunch of demos. We've got Kenna, we've got Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. We've also got things like Sifu and Jedi Fallen Order. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is playable, Ghostwire Tokyo, Alan Wake Remake and more. And you can see the ones that are not working right now. So we've got, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat 11, Just Dance. These are playable, but they have some issues, as you can see here. But then there are the ones that are just not able to be dumped, like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Demon's Souls, Resident Evil Village, where the eboot fails to decrypt. Unfortunately, we need to wait till we get some kind of better decryption payload to be able to decrypt these games. But uh, yeah, obviously more will be added to this list as more are tested, but we have a good few that can be played right now. Now there is a user called Bedro Zen who's sharing a lot of these backups, but obviously I can't uh, link you to any of those for obvious reasons. Next, we want to grab the latest version of Items Flow for the PS5. Make sure it is the version for the PS5, not the PS4 that you are downloading from pkg-zone.com. You can download it right here. And then what we want to do is copy that over to a USB drive. So I've got a USB drive right here. We're going to copy the Items Flow Homebrew app onto the root of the USB. And then any game backups that you want to run, you also want to copy to the root of the USB. So I've got one right here for Ghost of Tsushima. So normally your game backups will be stored in some kind of zip file. So it'll be compressed into a zip file, a 7-zip file, a WinRAR file, something like that. So you'll need to extract it. So I've got 7-Zip installed. You can use 7-Zip or WinRAR to basically right-click on it. And then you can go to 7-Zip and open archive. And then from there, we can extract the contents. So you want to extract the folder that contains the game files, like the eboot.bin. That's the folder that you want to extract over to the root of your USB stick. So we'll go ahead and copy it right there. Okay, so once you've got your game dumps all copied over to your USB drive with the items flow package, we can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into our PS5. Okay, so we're going to head on over to the internet browser and load up our exploit page, es7in1.site. And then we're going to head down to the idle sauce host and run the jailbreak. Okay, here we go. And then you want to run the ETA hen payload version 1.2b. All right, there we go. It's up and running. Current IP address, everything is loaded. Version 1.2b by Lightning Mods. Okay, so once you get that notification, we can press the PS button to exit and we're ready to go. So all we need to do is install the package file now. So if we go into settings, scroll down to the debug settings, go to game, click OK to that message and go down to package installer and install the items flow homebrew app. And there we go, ready to play. We head back out here, you can see We've now got items flow. So we're going to run items flow game manager, get that up and running. So app has been granted a jailbreak. So that means ETA hens working, getting it up and running. So we want to go to this PS5 option here, PS5 app brew 00001. We're going to select that option and change the app path. Now, what you can do with this is you can choose where you want to launch your game dump from. You can either launch it from the USB drive directly or you can copy it from the USB drive to the internal SSD of the PS5 and launch it from there. Or you can say copy it to like an M.2 drive that you have installed on the PS5 and launch it from there. Now there are certain PS5 game dumps 
that require being run from a specific location. There's not that many, but there are a couple of them that like have to be launched from a USB and they will not work if they're launched from the internal SSD, for example. But most of them should work on any one of those. So the M.2 drive or the USB or the internal SSD, whichever one you would rather launch it from. So the easiest way to get up and running would just be to launch it directly from the USB drive because that's where we copied it to. So we'll try that first. If we go to change app path with X, then you can scroll down the left menu here. But then if you press R1, it will switch to the right menu, which should be your USB drive that's plugged in. And we can just find our game dump folder right here. So PPSA 03208. And we're going to press square to select that folder. And there we go. Game directory has been changed successfully. It, dete it detects the correct title ID there. And then we can just click the button here to launch it. So we press launch. Now with this particular game, it does give us this message, something went wrong. We just click OK a couple of times, but as you can see, it is actually launching. So here it is, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. I believe this is uh, on an update, like version 2.012, I think, or 2.12. And yep, here we go. Ghost of Tsushima loading from my USB stick right here. A PS5 game loading from the USB. Now, obviously loading is going to be slower if you're loading it from a USB stick instead of copying it to the internal hard drive. So most of you will probably want to copy it to either the internal hard drive or an NVMe drive, like an M.2 drive that you have installed in the PS5 so that you can load much faster. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if we exit out of the game here, what's cool about this is items flow will actually add a database entry for that game dump. So now you can just launch it straight from the home menu here and it's marked with FG at the beginning, which I believe stands for like flow game or something like that, I would assume. So if we go back into items flow and then you can see it's also showing up here, Ghost of Tsushima 03208. We can select it here. Now there's a few options with this. There's the IO options, which allows you to move the app folder so this is what we want to do if we want to move it to another location. We can move app folder and then we can move it onto the hard drive or move it somewhere else. We also have the option to remove the virtual app. So if you use that option, that will basically get rid of the database entry. So it will no longer show up in your home menu because you are you can't delete it normally from the home menu. You can't just press the options button and delete this uh, like you can with something like, you know, a proper app that you've installed where you can delete it. So in order to delete the database entry, if you no longer want that game, you have to use items flow and use the option to remove the virtual app. So we'll select Ghost of Tsushima once again and go to the IO options and we'll select right to copy app folder. And then we'll select the data folder to copy it to. Now, if you want to copy it to an M.2 drive, then the location for that will be the mount folder. So MNT and then EXT1. So you would select that folder as the folder to copy the game to, to get it on the NVMe drive. But in my case, it's gonna be the internal drive. So I'm gonna copy it to the data folder. So I'm gonna press square on data. Now, because Ghost of Tsushima is over hundred gigs with the update installed, uh, it gets stuck on 0% for quite some time before it actually shows the progress. But eventually you'll start seeing all the files being copied. It will give you the current folder and the destination folder of where it's copying. Okay, so now that we have the game transferred to the internal storage, we can now delete the version that we have that points to the USB drive. So we'll delete the virtual app. And once that's deleted, it should then disappear from items flow and from the home menu, it will be deleted from the database. You may have to refresh with triangle in order to see that or perhaps close the items flow and reopen it, but it should get rid of it when you delete the virtual app. And then from there, we can go ahead and unplug the USB drive. So USB disconnected and now we'll just add the game back again by going back to the ps5 app section and selecting the location of the dump that's on the hard drive this time in the data folder we'll select that with square and then we can launch it and then it will reset everything up again it will launch the game and we'll get our flow game version on the home screen and an items flow but this time it's pointing to the one on the internal storage so we no longer need to load it from the USB drive. So that is pretty much everything. If you want to add more dumps, all you have to do is just repeat the process once again with a different dump, put a different one on your USB, copy it to the internal drive or just load it from the internal drive using the PS5 app option in items flow. 
and then it will appear there on the home screen and in items flow once you launch it as FG for flow game now available. So you can basically create a whole library of game dumps that you can launch. So uh, yeah, really awesome stuff. There's a lot more to items flow. There's a lot more features that are built in. I'll be doing videos on that in the coming days, including covering how to make your own game dumps from your PS5 disc games that you can then run without the original disc to basically preserve the game. So I'll be covering that and much, much more in future. So anyway, hope you guys have a good Christmas and a happy new year, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.